Engineers are professional who invent, design, analyze, build, and test machines, complex systems, structures, gadgets, and materials to fulfill functional objectives and requirements while considering the limitations imposed by practicality and cost. But before we proceed, let me introduce myself. My name is Dean Paul Cabanes, and we are here to talk about thermodynamics. What is thermodynamics? Thermodynamics can be defined as the study of energy, energy transformation, and its relation to matter. It simply states that during an interaction, energy can change form from one form to another, but the total amount of energy remains constant. So the topic that we will talk about in this video is about a kinetic and potential energy. But first, what is energy? Energy can be defined as the vitality and strength that are required for carrying out an activity is also explained as the power derived from the utilization of physical and chemical resources. What is potential energy? It's an energy that is stored in an object and not moving, but which has the potential to move is called the potential energy. Potential energy call is the energy possessed by an object because of its position relative to one another or in the another body. And now what is kinetic energy? The word kinetic has its origin from the Greek language to move. This was coined by William Thompson. When the object is stationary, it is potential energy, and by the moment it starts to move, it is now a kinetic. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by virtue of an object in motion. The work needed to accelerate a body from rest to acquire velocity is kinetic energy. And now, let's have some examples. Here's our question. So here, we are given by the following data. A mass of 25 kilograms, a velocity of 25 meters per second, a height of 5 meters, pressure inside is 600 kPa, pressure outside the atmosphere is 100 kPa. This thing starts moving up, so there's a change in the gas, kinetic, and potential energy. Here's the formula for the kinetic energy. 1 half times mass times velocity squared. So plug in our given, 1 half times 25 times 25 squared is equal to 7,812.5 joules. So the formula for our potential energy is mass times gravity times height. Let's plug in our given. So we'll be, so we'll be having a 1,226 joules. Work done by gas will be changed in potential and kinetic energy. In the beginning, the piston was in rest, so the energy was zero. At the end of the motion, change of energy is given by work is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy is equal to 7812.5 plus 1226.25 is equal to 9038.75 joules. Since we know that work done is also given by work is equal to change of P or delta P times V. As you can see in the pressure given by change in pressure is equal to pressure inside minus pressure outside. So 600 minus 100 kPa is equal to 500 kPa. So the need change in the gas volume is equal to V, where V is equal to W over delta P. If you plug in, 9,038.75 over 500,000 is equal to 0.18 so our final answer for V is equal to 0.18 that's all for this video I hope you learned something thank you and God bless us all